Hi guys, welcome to Savage Gaming. This is Teddy and for this episode we are going or I am going to give you a tutorial on how to play the new feature that they have added under the festival and this feature will be a reoccurring event similar to the recycling center and that is the time limited sales store for the duration on how on how long will it reset like on how long it is going to show up again i have no idea yet but as soon as i have the information i am going to give you an update guys but before we continue please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and leave some comments in the comment section below thank you guys so here the time limited sales store dropped today that is november 26 2020 along with the black friday sale but this will be, like I said earlier, this will be a reoccurring event. It means that it just will be a regular feature of this event. But for the duration or the schedule on how often is it going to be, re to be released in all of the states, I have no idea yet. So for that, as well as for the Recycling Center, I will be giving you an update once I have all the information about those features. So going back, this is a time-limited sales store. How are you going to play this is players can use the refresh coins to open or refresh the time limited sales store and unlock sale items. So the duration or the purchase remaining time every time is two hours and this resets every two hours. And since I just woke up and I just seen this, so it all set. So I need to refresh and for me to be able to refresh that I need coins and I don't have coins. So let's go here. So complete tasks to get refresh points. So you will have speed ups, skill infected, trained troops, your spike ups, as well as gather resources. Is it, is it that is it? It is pretty similar to the requirements for the recycling center. So now I have the refresh coins. So let's click that one. And now it refreshes here. It gives you the list. It unlocks all the items depending on the year so if you wanted to see the years of the items all you get to do is click that little the tv little tv up there like purchase items and time limited sales store click that and you will see all the previews so one column rewards preview is zero to sixty percent off the second column will be zero to fifty percent off and then the third column will be 30 to 80 percent off fourth column will be 80 30 to 80 percent off as well and then the fifth column will be zero to 40 percent so basically they will be just going to give you speed ups the adhesive uh cheap gear tools here gear parts mercenary influence this is very helpful for me because i'm still building my account and as you know, I have a few accounts that I'm trying to build and I'm trying to keep up. So now I have only the blue and I wanted to upgrade them. And since I need some of those, I need this, the design. So I'll be focusing on buying the technical, technical design and the store now. So let's go back and then let's see if I have the tacticals. I want to buy that. And then there is a limit. So every reset, every two hours of reset, you need to buy all the items that is presented for every two hours. After two hours, these items will be closed and you need another refresh coins for it to unlock again. So for this one, since I am building my chief gear, I want to buy all the items that is connected or prerequisite to the chief gear. So I want to buy tactical design. And then as well as I'm trying to build my medals. So I'm going to get all of that. That is remaining as five. Also, I wanted to get my chief gear tools. That is also four. I don't really need the resources because I have a lot. I'm kind of been hoarding for a while for this one. And then the skill books. You will have the trip attack boost then maybe i will get this one and then trip defense that is cheaper than they are offering there in the settlement buffs so i'm getting that then let's see how many adhesive i need and now i have enough tactical but of course i don't want to use that 
because I'm hoarding them for the next. So I need to buy mercenary metal tag. That's one thing that I need to work on too as well. Then let's go back here. So here. So I already bought what I need. And then the second part of that the tutorial is after the items are unlocked, players can use buy caps to purchase their favorite limited purchase items at a super value fry price. Not fries, not french fries, but price. <laughs> Refresh coins can be obtained via the event task. Refresh coins can be used for the next event. So if you have a lot of refresh coins, you can actually stack them up and use them uh, next time this event is going to pop up again. And claim refresh icons will be sent to players via in-game mail. So let's say I'm going to refresh first again. And I have the alley now. So I want to buy that. And then one five. I wanted to buy the adhesive as well. And then I want the hero gear parts. And I want the badge. So basically I'm just utilizing all the second lines here that includes this one. The sec not the second line, the second column. That is the adhesive, the chief gear tools, the hero gear parts, as well as the mercenary influence. I don't need the column the column three, which is the resources. I don't need the column four as well, except maybe for the maps. And let's see in the column five. And let's see in the column five if they are going to drop the advanced relocator and see how much will it cost. So here. Let's go back. Leo is being mad because he said I am competing with him. His survival of the fittest. Right, what are they? I ranked up. I think on data I also ranked up. I'm trying to utilize all the hoarded items that I have. I will be doing another video for this, guys, and how I do that. And then this one, now I end up one. But then in the event rank, I'm second to him. So I need to catch up, like, around 60 more. 65 more for me to be able to beat him. But I still have my chief gear. And then tomorrow, I will have enough for that to upgrade. But then let's go back when is the next schedule for this one is. So today is phase four. I've been training a lot. And then tomorrow plasma course. So I have a few plasma cores to upgrade. I have some speed ups as well. And then I will see if I will be able to get some chief gear in this store. So going back to the store. Now it is refreshed. So let's see. If I have the, oh, I ha they could have a recon charmer. It's, I forgot how much would it cost for two hours. Let's see here. So two hours is 400 and then eight hours is 1,200. Let's see the difference. So here. I have the 8 hours for only 4850 so I want to buy that because I use this for Reservoir Raid. Also, I want the Trip Defense. I already bought that one. I don't need to buy Speed Ups. I have a few. And then let's refresh again, guys. So let's see what am I going to bet. So here, it's even cheap, cheaper. It's only 350 now and I want to buy that. And then I want to get this one. And then I want to buy all of this again. Because I want to hoard everything when it comes to Chief. Because I want to build this account. So here. So I don't have re refresh coins left. Let's see if I'll be able to get one. So I only have one remaining that is to collect. But then let's refresh again and buy the last one. So here, so 
did buy buy caps but as is okay it's more important for me to buy to be able to buy all the requirements that i need i don't need to buy the peace flare because i can buy it on the alliance store so that's it so always check that tv like thing in there guys to give you the guide on what column drops on what uh, every time you refresh for every two hours so every two hours this is going to be closed the offers here will be closed and you can refresh that by buying refresh coins also this event is always running for two days so for two days you have enough time for you to be able to refresh or spend all your buy cups if you want if you want to go crazy and spend all the buy cups that you have you can actually do that so that's it for today guys see you in my next videos bye